she's you know she's my husband's mother so and she's been married for donkey years so definitely and you know and her, their their dad is dead as her husband is dead now nah, allergy you know and in the beginning we were we were we were, we were quite close but she didn't know me before my husband married me she had not seen me you understand so seeing me for the first time we had married so he went out, went home with me and the children i had given birth to two kids then for them as in for my husband for my husband and then my one the one i'd had before and that time the one my husband had you know the only child my husband had you know two was in nigeria with her you understand with my mother-in-law so she was seeing me for the first time so we had very good relationship but along the line things took turns you know we now fell out and falling out I, I i just what i did was i withdrew to my shell i supposed to talking back or mm -mm. i just withdrew into my shell and i think it helps me a lot when i have a problem with someone or people that i don't want to say something that in the end i will have myself to blame what mean what i mean is be it in marriage be it in very you know in a relationship that matters to you you understand it's better you keep quiet because your anger can make you say stuff that will not allow you know someone like my mother-in-law she probably will not be able to forgive me and with my very sharp mouth you know i may say they are unimaginable so what i did was i just kept went into my shell i withdrew i stopped talking so sometimes you will be speaking and she they, she always speaks to her her my husband who is her, her first son they are very close very close in fact they are so close and she won't ask for me and I won't I won't even raise a bro. I won't even ask. I, I won't even be able to see if I I'm I know. As in I just was minding my business. Sometimes my husband even needs idea of want to talk as in oh um Elijah and then he will realize it's me. Then I won't say, Oh, that's good, oh that's not I just mind my business. I wasn't talking. I just went quiet. I just withdrew into my shell. And that was what helped me. Until after a while. She was in America for some time. She went to stay with one of her children. One, you know, the, the, the one after the one in here they want to they, they are third born so she was in america that's my mother-in-law was in america for some time and when she was in america the 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 closeness was even more because the closeness was more in the sense that she was now um having to you know when they are in nigeria at that time when they were in nigeria you know whatsapp had not existed so when she was in london the um whatsapp had started i think so ah the, the time Aladia will call any time because that's my husband is her gist mate. In fact, her, my husband is her husband, if you if you understand me. And at the time she was in America helping the younger sister, she the their, their dad was still alive. You understand? So the, the daddy was with the other wife, the younger wife, whom you people saw on my mother's birthday that came with her. They were just two, you know. So but she just decided to go and have fun with her children you know just go and stay with her children so she was there with the, uh, they were they are they are two there then my my husband's first child my husband took her to america too so she too was she went to meet they were all there so all i did was it, it, it even almost affected my relationship with the firstborn that is my husband's child because 
if I have to talk to her and she's there, I, I always feel very reluctant. But she understood. You know that kind of, that one gets Agbalagba. Now, Elijah bring her up. So, she has very matured understanding of many things. She, she knew I needed time to, you know, she was so confused. She was put in a confused state, you know. Where does she hang on? You know, Grandma, they, they, Grandma is her mom too. Even though her biological mother is still very much alive, but you know, she's married to somebody else. So, Grandma is her mom. I'm also her mom. I may be a stepmother, but I'm her mom. You know, so it was very hard for her. Very uncomfortable situation. But I, I didn't make it look like it was very uncomfortable. All I did was I didn't know. I acted as if I wasn't noticing anything. Until one day, finally, just right where the larger was in America, still in America, one day, after we did this for... Let me not lie. It it lingered on for like three years. One lie, it's a lie. It's not lie. Yeah, saying three years of that marriage. It's not as if we don't talk, but it was very maybe in a whole year. This one now that we talk in a in a month, we may talk up to four times or five times, if not more. Just anytime she feels like just thing with me, she'll just call me. Yo, anytime she just wants to, she's coming for masala too, and she wants to just pray for me, she'll just call me. But that time, she only calls her son, and me, I just, I just do as if I'm not hearing them. You understand? Uh huh. So I will just be looking. But later on, I will always tell my husband, I always say one thing, and. He, he find it so uncomfortable because every time this was going on, I would tell my husband, if your family, they love me, hmm? you are the cause. If they hate me, you are the cause. Because I see that as you are acting between us, you are acting as like a hypocrite. When my mom calls or when my mom is talking to me, she asks of you, you talk to her, you don't have any problem with any of my siblings. Everybody asks of you, at least if nothing at all. Hello, hello, is the but your own case. <clears throat> Alada has some things that is happening between us. I'm very uncomfortable in this marriage. You know, I will say that to my husband. My husband will be saying, hey, yeah, it's time, it's time. You know, he loved the mother so much. He loves the sibling so much. He doesn't want to be looked upon as a weakling. So he needed to handle stuff with wisdom. I understood, but trust me, I wasn't buying it. Do you get? I wasn't buying it. I wasn't buying it because I thought it was the only one that could resolve the matter. There were many things, you know, I don't want to go too deep into the causes of the problem. But majorly it's what everyone will experience in marriage. Every one of us as women, you know. Many of them don't understand how it is. You know, they always think that, you know, they always look at my husband like, you know, some of them just really believe that, oh, my husband um, lost me too much too. He, he, they, 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 I don't know how they're feeling, but I just think that they are not really understanding that my husband... Acts his, his attitude. That's why everybody see him as I say, ah, eh, they've just him. My husband is very, very, very bold man. In fact, I am the mumu, but nobody will ever believe. But I know now they know. My husband's family, they know now. But in the beginning, they didn't know. Trust me. Because I looked, my husband doesn't look it. If, if my mother-in-law had the chance, opportunity to come with this, as in marry me, as in with the son and be able to supervise everything, she will know. But because she didn't understand, you know, she didn't get it. You know, sometimes when I see people say, ah, they have collected Saturday from this man. They, the man is a mumu. Shoot. <laughs> I think my own family should say that Nami, they do just give. <laughs> but you know, I don't know what he uses to bath that makes him look like that and that makes people think like that. That is the mumu. I am the boss. That is totally untrue. You sit everybody close to me down. They will tell you, 
you are not seeing it right. But I don't know how my husband, what he uses to bath for, what the face he has, or the, I don't know what, I don't know, I don't know how he does it. I don't know what he does because I don't know. I wish I can do it too, but and me, he's himself. But in the house, any in anything, he is the boss. The only thing about him is that he allows me be. But I shouldn't, I don't take it for granted. Never. And that's why I appreciate him so much. I do not take it for granted. No. Because I know. <laughs> You know, Gumeka, they say, my husband, ah, I don't come here, yara now. <laughs> it is well with him, in Jesus' mighty name. But he is a no-nonsense man, but we allow you to do as you like. But you have to be the one to know, okay? You don't overdo things. So I respect him for that. And so I know, I, I know when to stop. I know what he doesn't like. And you know, the, the, the good thing, to God be the glory, is that, in fact, many things he doesn't like, I don't even go that side. Do you get me? Like, you know, what I mean, let me set an example. Like, you know, some people will come home and see what other men are doing for their husbands wives now and they will now be pushing their husband that i i want this a uh, uh, car 2022 um car do you i'm just using citing that as an example like you know like oh i uh, okay maybe now he, he can afford you know to we can afford in the family to buy 2012 and i now say no didn't you see what baba lagbada did for baba yatamedu they were able to get 2022 let us also get it those are things that my husband doesn't like going outside to gabi looking at people's um achievement and then come and start pushing him to go and use his head to go and hit trailer just because I want to compete or want to be, you. and the good thing is he finds out that all those things, Kotiyan Kashimi, I'm just one woman that concentrates on my business, my life, my children, and him. He finds out that I don't do it, so we easily talk about such a thing. So I know I'm just giving an example of. Me, one out of many things. What do you want? What? Yes, yeah, this one. This. Oh, I'm using it. There you go. Bye. The, go on, I have the. I have my charger in the room. That one is for. You can't use it quickly because I may want to use it. Yeah, I love you. Okay. You want to eat it? Eat it? Okay. Eat it. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So you know, all that don't don't motivate me. As in, I mean, I'm not that kind of person. So a lot of things that he doesn't like to go be, but there are some that I have, some attributes that I have that he doesn't like. Oh, like I don't like cooking because I'm not really a fantastic cook but over over the years after we got married yeah i'm a better cook at least you can score me 65 percent now in some things you will give me 70 maybe in some oyibo food not oyibo oyibo like that so it's not really oyibo continent no just oyibo food like making a uh, a uh, uh, lasagna, uh, I say lasagna, uh, uh, macaroni and uh, cheese, uh, uh, you know, making all those uh, so -so yibo food. And my husband takes all those food as snacking. Or oh, all these uh, minced meat and uh, burger. Uh, I'm good small in those ones. But when you start to talk about uh, Bomo, Esero, uh, Bokoto, uh, for Riro, Egusi, uh, Amala, uh, Amala, Abula, Ha. I lost for dear. So, I don't like cooking. Do you understand? So, but I needed to love cooking because, not love cooking, I needed to cook because my husband doesn't like that part of me. He doesn't like that part of me. 
so that I don't like cooking, especially cooking and be cooking. My husband loves it that you cook varieties. You cook it for you cook or this one cook that one. Let the house be. He likes it.